Vented uh, zombie uh, giraffe lifter and diamondback, the hub motor egg beater spinner. Fight, robots fight. Good speed right out of the uh, squares for both of these robots. But diamondback has found Wicked Wedge's edge and kicked that robot into the air. Here, what sounds to be a little bit of dragging, perhaps, on the ground for uh, for Diamondback. Diamondback, in some ways, is an homage to Copperhead on BattleBots. You can see a very similar wedge configuration, plus those uh, teeny tiny little kind of wings that come out of the. Uh, side of their wedge, which I absolutely love. Yeah, it's a great design aesthetic and it does really help feed uh, the bots that run into your side corners away from you. Good protection for what is normally kind of a weak spot in those corners of the bot. Oh! Wicked Wedge takes a huge tumble from that hit. Diamondback's weapon really getting up to speed. Diamondback, uh, driven by Corey Nason, who is a longtime competitor here at Norwalk Havoc, and uh, is known uh, typically, you know, for its. Uh, oh no, Diamondback is on its head. That's not where you want to be. Diamondback's weapon is down. We get one unstick. We get one unstick, but it's there Bert's in the corner. Able to get there. Can Bert do it? Oh, he's done it. That's the one unstick. And Diamondback's weapon is back! Amazing! I had concerns about the hub motor design. Putting a motor inside of the uh, egg beater seems like madness, Kyle. But uh, it really looks like Diamondback is not seeing any of those reliability issues that uh, both Corey and I had feared earlier in this, uh, this competition. The eyes are getting stripped off of Wicked Wedge. It is looking zombier and zombier by the second, Kyle. Yeah, this uh, demented giraffe, as you put it? Yes. It's looking uh, more and more war-torn as this fight goes on. We're down to the last 30 seconds of this fight. Oh, and Corey has got to stay away from those corners. You really don't want to uh, get yourself stuck again. No way. But just the speed of these robots is incredible. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's the match. Turn off your weapon, Diamondback. Drive that giraffe to the door. Great drive, great reliability from both of these drivers. This one goes to the judges. All right, I think we should start with Don this time around. We haven't started with Don in a while. So uh, Don, your thoughts on this fight, Wicked Wedge versus Diamondback. Uh, I mean, Diamondback had most of the aggression and control. Um, Wicked Wedge didn't really get damaged, but just based on that, uh, the only time they had the advantage when, was when they got him in the corner, and then once it got down, it was Diamondback's fight from there on out. Yeah. All right, so we've got one vote for Diamondback. How about you, Jack? Your thoughts? I'm going to give it to Diamondback. The one instance of Wicked Wedge getting a good lift on Diamondback wasn't really enough to sway it back in its favor. All right, we've got two votes for Diamondback. Andrew, your thoughts? Yeah, three votes for Diamondback. Everything else has been said at this point, so yeah, going Diamondback. All right, we've got a unanimous judge's decision for Diamondback, which advances. Wicked Wedge now gets kicked down into the loser's bracket. We will see Wicked Wedge again.